Hey guys and girls, it's Russ from RussHopPTI.com uh, Final video of the day for you guys, we've got a question we got on the gym the other day from uh, Ross. Ross was asking, Russ, I want a new technique to kickstart growth in my biceps. You know, he's, he's tried doing supersets and, and drop sets and he just wanted something a bit different and of course we love doing this type of stuff, you know, we're always finding new ways, sort of CrossFit style, Rocky style workouts. So today I've got one of these for you. If you find that your arm growth has stopped, um, or you've hit a bit of a plateau, I'm going to show you a technique here which will get you out of it and how to slot it into a workout. This technique, it's one which is used by, um, I think, is it, is it Jean Claude Van Damme that does this one? Yep, Jean Claude Van Damme. It's a good one, this is called the bicep. Boom curl. You'll notice why when you do this, it's not just a cheesy name we've given it, although I do kind of like that. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to grab a weight and I'm going to show you how to do this, right? Now, you won't have to go very heavy on this to get a good, uh, a good amount of results from it because it's, it's quite a, a good technique to do and it focuses on the areas which people often neglect when they're doing a curl with a, with a bar like this. Um, what we're going to focus on is two set and pause at the bottom of the rep and then a two second pause at the top of the rep. And that's going to do two things. First of all, that pause that you're putting in is going to make sure you're getting a full contraction of the muscle both at the top and the bottom. But because I've now got you actively focusing on the top and the bottom, just want to make sure you guys can still see me here, yeah? <laughs> because I've got you focusing on the top and the bottom of the move, it means you're not ignoring the negative phase, which a lot of people do. They sort of, they cheat the weight up, and then they just let it drop. And that's what they do for their bicep curls. Now, this lowering part here is where you're getting about 50 or 60% of your results. So don't ignore that. So this technique's good for uh, correcting that if you see anybody doing that around your gym. Um, so just two seconds at the top, nice and slow on the way down, and just two seconds at the bottom. And the reason it's called bicep boom is because if you were to do about 10 to 15 reps on this, your biceps will be feeling as if they're about to explode. <laughs> um, when it comes to putting this into a workout, it's good to put it in there with... I'm exhausted, man. <laughs> you should not do these videos after we've already worked out. That's a rule for the future, okay? Um, it's good to put it into a workout with uh, other exercises which tend to get ignored, particularly if you're looking to kickstart results. So another one for this, Forearm exercise. A lot of people ignore this exercise completely. A lot of people ignore their forearms completely. Um, we're going to use the same weight here. And all we're going to do is take a reverse grip on the bar. I'll turn this way for this one. And by performing the same bicep curl movement, but with a reverse grip, you'll notice it transfers the stress from your biceps to your forearms. This is a good one for evening out the development of your arms. It's not going to give you big Popeye type forearms, but uh, it will bring them back into proportion for you so you don't look like one of those guys with huge biceps and then the bottom of their arm is really small, you don't want that type of look, right? Um, the third part of today's workout, we're going to focus on triceps and we're not going to need any weights, so if you can bear with me a second, we'll get the camera set up and move on to number three, which is triangle push-ups. Alright guys, so part three of today's video, um, again another often overlooked exercise, this is triangle push-ups. Basically we're going to do push-ups with a very close grip, I'm going to have my hands underneath my chest, fingers together, forging a, almost a triangle shape, that's where they get the name from, and as I come down, try and keep the elbows in. Okay, I'll give you guys a quick demo, very easy if you've done regular push-ups, but you're going to feel this a lot more on your triceps than you'd expect, um, even more so than with close grip push-ups. So, Arms on the chest, all the way down, trying to keep the elbows in. And each time you push up, you're going to feel this absolutely blasting your triceps. This is a very good overlooked exercise. Um, if you can combine all three, maybe put together, I would say like a bit of a circuit, you know, so you're doing 10 reps on one, 10 reps on the other, 10 reps on the other. Do a few rounds of that um, circuit, you'll, you'll find that you're able to kickstart new development in your arms just by changing things up and using things that you've never used before. Um, so that's today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm exhausted after all work out. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to go have myself a protein shake and then go get my son from school again. Um, 
catch me on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube if you want any more tips. Um, try to get a few more videos done for you guys with it being January. Try to get about two or three hours a week. So if there's anything you need to help with, feel free to let me know. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Now get to the gym. Bye-bye. <laughs>